So one might ask, how do I, as a Muppet, record for these videos when I am so small? The answer is very, very carefully. Please find me a home. Are you a boy or a girl? Not to my knowledge. Can't believe that pioneer women used to churn butter for hours without even listening to a podcast about Bigfoot. Historically, when performing long, repetitive tasks like churning butter or weaving cloth, people would sit together and tell stories. Folk stories, fairy tales, and even stories about mysterious ape-like creatures living in the forest. So, yes, pioneer women did listen to podcasts about Bigfoot while churning butter. Wow. Every time I see Nautic Suggestion, my brain is like, ah, this is a mandatory order then. Not a suggestion enforceable by several dandies in incalculably large wigs. Mm-hmm. I love to make up phrases and slap, if you know what I mean, on the end. It implies there's meaning to it, and it leaves the recipient wondering. Well, I too like to shake up the old bag of hammers, if you know what I mean. I know exactly what you mean, my dude. Therapists are just common sense filters. Me. Yeah, so I don't have the energy to, like, get up and make myself a sandwich or wait for something to cook, so I just don't. Her. Why don't you just eat the sandwich components without putting them together? What? You can just eat a handful of cheese and some sandwich meat. You don't have to make a sandwich. What? People who would fight the entire world for each other but complain and call each other stupid fucking idiots about it the entire time is the ultimate relationship dynamic. Can't judge me otherwise. I just saw something on TikTok saying, if you understand this, you probably have ADHD. Five is the most even odd number, and six is the oddest even number. Why can I understand this? I- Wait! The year is 2040. You are the last smoker alive. The quit smoking ads get personal. You walk into Times Square, a giant billboard lights up reading, The hot barista you Facebook stock doesn't like smokers. You walk back into the subway and go home. Does anyone ever do the opposite of dissociate? Like, when you're just suddenly and uncomfortably aware of your situation and reality? More to the point, why do I get that feeling when I'm sitting on top of my kitchen table watching a Velveeta mac and cheese pack spin in the microwave for three and a half minutes and I'm just like, I exist, I am here, and there's nothing I can do about it! When you roll a nat 20 on perception, but there's nothing to perceive. Okay, this one wins! Everyone can stop for vloggings now! Go home! Who the fuck thinks I want to see three completely identical, smooth blue men get absolutely soaked in paint that they tap off their little drums? Nobody. Hmm. Sounds like you're jealous they didn't let you in the group. Hey gang, I'm ordering $14 worth of soda and nothing else from my local Domino's. I am very thirsty. Your order is in the oven. You better fucking not have! What are you doing in this abandoned water treatment plant? Trying to figure out who abandoned all this water. You want to drink some with me? Already pulling out my comically long silly straw? I thought you'd never ask. Not trying to be rude, but I love posts on here where I learn a completely new thing that immediately gets refuted in the same post. Ah, net zero information. Uh, I love it when I do that shit on videos and have a comment that's like, Um, well, actually! If the US military gets their hands on Dracula, we are so fucked! This post was a lot funnier to me when I was high. Actually, you just basically described the plot of Blade Trinity, sans the U.S. military. Well, I must bid you all farewell. Mwah! You take one point of poison damage. You take one point of poison damage. You take one point of poison damage. You take one point!